Well, they, yeah, they were claiming that there was some shading on it. So, I mean, any, uh, and that's, it's a procedural issue, and that's a point where it's a true and correct copy must be used without any um, changes to it. So, the solution to that, even though it would have, it, it was resolved by taking off the first page and just, it even worked to our advantage because then we could say, well, you saw exhibit 17, and then, you know, yes, yes, I did, and the, well, what, what is exhibit 25? Oh, the second page to the application. So I, I think it helped us. observed is correct and I, I, I'm confident to say that it, you know enough to say that the juries pick up on a lot more than even what the judge or the, the state is thinking they're noticing everything they notice even all the supporters that come out everybody that's coming in and out of the courtroom the kids, they notice the, the, kids being asked to leave. the kids being asked to leave this morning I saw a few of the women jurors react a little bit to yeah. that. You know, like, you know, like they, could, they could empathize with what was going on. Right, and, and there are a lot of people who are coming, uh, being here very supportive and for Vernon coming out, making sure that everybody here is aware, everybody out there is just knowledgeable as to what's going on. It's, it's a wonderful thing, I think, for all of us. It's uh, in the bigger picture, in the grander scheme of things, this is a, a wonderful learning opportunity as well. And I, you know, I'm a lawyer, I'm in court every day, I see things, and wild things, maybe even wilder than this sometimes. Not as wild as the opening statements though, with so many objections, but um, it's a great learning opportunity for everybody else to see and have in mind, wait a minute, I have to be prepared to, in the event that there is some sort of litigation and how to prepare yourself for that. Any other questions? You can just speak up. I can't see. Yeah, we so, can't see you yeah, there's some... It helps if you stand. And there's also a microphone over here in the front if you want to come up. Thanks. And thank you guys for being so patient. It's a long day of trial and an even, you know, longer week for not only us, but for Vernon and his family. All right. How do you think the jury reacts when the prosecution objects before uh, Glenn was even finished with the sentence? <laughs> um, like like I said, you, thank you for your question. Uh, like I said, I think juries pick up on a lot more than um, what... I guess the state is giving them credit or even what the judge is giving them credit for. But juries pick up on a lot and they're noticing. They must, I don't know, I'm sympathetic again, but they're ha if, I, if I were watching something and I will, they have to speculate. I mean, juries are smart and they're wondering, wait a minute, why can't they talk about everything? Or why is he being so aggressive? And yes, that is a prosecution's job, a prosecutor's job, but there's, there has to be some sort of reasonableness or understanding. What's even more, as a follow-up to your question, what's even 